We welcome you to Los Angeles. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Houston Astros taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And now, introductions Yo, wrapping up down on the field. And first pitch Los just Angeles minutes away. Dodgers. Just about to get underway. And on the hill for the Dodgers, Walker Bueller. Well, he's got such great discipline in between starts, taking care of himself, making sure he's lifting, his stamina stays high. He's a guy that wants to finish every start that he makes. Now, we know that's not quite possible, but he's well-conditioned to throw over 100 pitches effectively. I think if you're on the other side, you've got to try to have lengthy at-bats, run that pitch count up, and perhaps get him out of the ballgame early. He's kind of a rare pitcher in today's game. We'll see what he's got in this one. And he deals. Line drive caught. That exactly. The left fielder, number 23, Michael Brantley. Now Michael Brantley steps in. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Two away here in the top of the first. Batting third. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Alex Bregman. A wind and a pitch. On the ground to the left. Toss to Muncy. Oh. That's the third out. One, two, three, go the Astros. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Zero, zero. And on the hill, Lance McCullers Jr. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because, you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Bottom of the first, here's Mookie to hit. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Mookie Betts blasts one out, and the Dodgers have the lead. It's 1-0. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it. Trey Turner now. Batting second. The shortstop. Trey Here comes a pitch. Turner. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Well, it's safe to say he won't be getting invited to the charity golf tournament this offseason. Here's Justin Turner. And a pitch. Ground ball left side. And that's just foul. Part of the order coming through now. And with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Brantley settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one away. Batting four. The first baseman, Matt. 
And now it's Max Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. Muncy hits one in the air. McCormick on the move to the right. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Save. What an effort there to save the perfect game, but it's broken up on an infield hit. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And a pitch. Base hit and a run in to score. Digging it out of the corner. The run scores from third, and they lead by two. Found no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That's a that good it. sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out Red. front and lifted it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Chris Taylor down. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach. The tag, hey. safe. And they're up by three. And he'll be safe at first. Batting seven. The center fielder. Cody. Bellinger. So one out with two aboard. Here's Cody Bellinger. The pitch. Popped up. Batting eight. The left fielder, A.J. A.J. Pollock. Steps to the plate for the Dodgers. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. They take the force out. They limit the damage here. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. It's the Dodgers three and the Astros nothing. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. The Astros in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. But why to kick the pitch? Out there to center. Bellinger under it. And a quick out number one. Woo! He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Here's Guriel. He's got a nice, short, compact swing. Doesn't swing and miss a whole lot. The wind of the pitch. Rips that one center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Batting fifth. The right fielder, number 30. Kyle. Here's Kyle Tucker. Tucker. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And the 0-2. Bounce to the right side, and that's a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big that difference in defending against pull hitters, but Shannon. it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. So two down, and next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Tucker off of first with two away. Up the middle. Turner handles the chance. And that is that. 
So the Astros leave one. They trail in this one, three nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Digging in, Gavin Lux. He's in the DH spot. Chris, interleague play, and so a National League guy that might normally be on the bench getting some plate appearances. This is an advantage you don't normally see a National League team have coming into an American League park, a guy that can serve like an ALDH. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. And there's one away. Now batting, right fielder. That was a Smokey. great run to make the catch singing. Yeah. We got to take another look at it with StatCast. Yeah, he saw it perfectly off the bat. Reactions were excellent. Took a very direct route to the ball, and more than 100 feet later, he ran it down. I just love seeing that. The pitch. So Mookie Betts with a base hit. Betts uses the speed, infield single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Trey Turner will hit next. Good contact guy, good defender. That one the other way. Tucker right there to make the grab. And yeah, there's two away. Up next to the Dodgers, the third baseman, Justin Turner. Stepping in the long ball threat, Justin Turner. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. Smash to the left side. In time to Guriel. And that will end the inning. One left for L.A., but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine, on to the third inning. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena. And here it comes. A swing and a soft liner. Makes the catch. One down. The catcher, Martin Maldonado. Martin Maldonado up to hit. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. In the air, left field, Pollock. On his way over, just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder yeah, coming that. open instead of it's staying kind of closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And the pitch. Line drive to short and come on. This was by no means an offensive outburst. Only four hits the entire game, but good teams find a way to win, and they did. A shutout in this one. 3 nothing. our final score. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. For the victorious Dodgers, three runs, four hits, no errors. They left three men on base.